Good morning, everyone, or I guess afternoon, evening, whatever it is where you watch this when you watch it. Um, I hope everybody's had a great week. I've been loving all my mania starts, uh, watching everybody's posts on Facebook and everything into the group. It's been awesome, and I can't wait to spend some time later today watching other people's videos and everything as y'all get going. Um, because I'm going to show you all my mania starts, I thought I'd first start with <clears throat> my haul. It's pretty big, so prepare yourselves. Just kidding. Um, look, I got these cute little buttons from, um, is it just another button company? I don't remember. They're to, um have one of those cats of the seasons or something like that I don't remember the name of it that I'm working on and those are the buttons that I need to go with it and then I got this cute little pattern from Bent Creek it's a tiny little thing but look it's a uh, a humbug I just thought that was funny cute little fat bug and that's it that's um what I've bought this week I did play around one morning before heading into the office and um, dyed a piece of Ada. It is a, it was kind of a pale yellow. It wasn't really a cream color that I had gotten. And I used some um, raspberry jello. That's what I used to dye it with. So it smells good. Um, but I like the fact that the color is kind of soft little, um, and it still looks pink, so it's kind of a pink and yellow mixed together. <clears throat> Not a real harsh difference, but it turned out pretty neat. I think I'll probably do it again, play, play around a little bit. Um, I ice dyed it, and I really had hoped that the ice would melt and I could do it all before I left for the office, but any other time that ice would have melted right away if I needed the ice to stay, but this time it didn't, so I left it and let it sit all day. I was really a little bit nervous when I got home and looked at it before I rinsed it because it was really, really dark and everything, but once I rinsed it and some of that washed out, I was really happy with how it turned out. So. I'll probably play around with that a little bit some more. Anyway, that's it. That's my haul. That's uh, the one other thing I did. Everything else was dedicated to Stitch Mania. Um, so last Sunday on day one, I worked on this Merry Christmas. And it says Country Prim Cranberry Housewarming. I have no idea what that part is. It says it under here. Um, but I think it's by carousel charts. I got it. I got the pattern off of eBay um, from a lady that has an eBay shop. I don't remember her name. I bought a bunch of um, Weeks Dye Works threads from her because she had them on sale at the time for like dollar eighty one instead of the two fifty that I see at other places. Anyway, on this I started um, with the border up here across the top and I got about half of that done. So that's what and I'm doing that. It's on a um, 14 count Ada. It's kind of a tan color but it's got silver sparkly stuff woven into it to give it a more festive look. Um, my day two start on Monday was from this uh, cross-stitch magazine by Leisure Arts. It says it's April of 1989 and out of it I did, I was doing this little patriotic heart um, and on that, I actually have an FFO. Um, it's a tiny little heart, yes, 
but I did half of what I intended to do, and I hated doing that half so much, so I stopped there. Um, it's these. See, this one is blank, but this one has the little patriotic heart. Um, I hated this. I don't love the heart. Uh, it's got problems, has issues. It's not very attractive. Um, I remember why I hate waste canvas and why I haven't used it in 20 years. I couldn't even get all of it pulled out, about a third of it maybe pulled out, so I finally gave up. Um, and came back and trimmed very close along the edges with a pair of scissors. So most of the waste canvas is still under there. Um, so I decided that this shoe will be fine just like it is. But a finish, yay! Um, on Tuesday, I started this. Um, this is one of those kits. I got it off of eBay. It comes from China. It was a couple of bucks. Um, and I thought it was really cute. <clears throat> we had some fun um, reading the directions where they are obviously um, interpreted into English. And... One of my favorite lines in here says, get a little bit tighter, then it's nature tension is better. Huh? I'm pretty certain that it means to make your tension just a little bit tighter. Um, maybe a little bit even. I don't know, but it made me laugh. It made me chuckle. This is how far I got on it. It is basically this little piece right here. And like I said, with I want to keep going. I just want to keep going and but then I pick up the next one and I want to keep going on it too. So, I guess it's all good. Um Wednesday one of my girls had an FFA banquet. So, I didn't have a lot of time for stitching. But I started on this, um, Bent Creek. It's Joyful Journal, um, September. They have different months, one for every month. On the back, you can see there's what August's would have looked like. This is the only one of these I have, just because I thought it was cute. Um, I don't have a lot of things to put out and decorate in September, so this was fine. This I'm doing on a, like a 22 count, and so the stitches are very, very tiny, um, but mostly I've gotten this part of this little ruler at the top done over to the inchworm. That's pretty much it. But I think it's kind of cute. That was what, Wednesday? On Thursday, I started from this one. It's Cross Stitch Magazine, again by Leisure Arts. This one does not have a date on it, as weird as that is. Um, and this actually is what I'm doing. <clears throat> There's a picture of him on a different thing. And he's got all these words around him. I don't think I'm going to do those. The fabric that I'm using is a really open weave. And I, I, I don't think I can get the words in without running my threads, without them showing underneath. So I don't think I'll put the words in. I think it'll just be him. This is what I got done. I actually got that done probably at least twice because I swear I had to rip almost everything out and put it in again and again because I keep getting off on my count. You can see the weave of this 
fabric isn't nest it's not an even weave by any means and I don't know if linens are this bad because look some of the threads are thin some of them are fat so it's just been crazy it irritated me so much that because I'm off again here I think over here somewhere I'm off and something's going to have to be ripped out. I got so frustrated, I just set it down. And I worked on this, which frustrated me just as much. So uh, Thursday wasn't a good cross-stitch day, I guess. I will continue to work on this, though, because I really think this is what I've gotten done, is right here, is mustache and beard, is where I'm working. I really think it'll be cute, and especially on this fabric. Um, but gosh, it's making me nuts. So, I that might be one that I'll just have to be in the right frame of mind to work on it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, my Friday start is from this. And... Like I said last week, this one's on perforated paper and they're all magnets, but I, that's not what I'm gonna use it for, so I'm just doing mine on Ada. Um, I'm doing this one, the Snoopy and the, sitting in the bowl. And this is actually just some scraps, look. But uh, I figured it'll be fine. And I got his ears done and a little bit of his face. White on white without any other, because, I mean, it, it's it's Snoopy. Look how much white there is. Um, without any other uh, colors or much or reference or anything. It's kind of hard to see all of that, but... It's Snoopy. It'll be adorable when it's done. How could it not? And then... It's like, where did it go? The last one that I started was from another cross-stitch magazine. Um, this one says it's from February of 1989. I'm going to guess that um, the one with the Uncle Sam's probably from around the same time period. And I'm doing the calendar with all these little things, but I didn't do them. I'm doing them all on, on one piece. Um, like this. <clears throat> it's called uh, Through the Year. But I thought those other little, the each individual thing was pretty cute too. Anyway, this is what I got done. Um, it's just this one little tiny corner up here. I think I'm going to like this because as I work on it, each little section is going to kind of feel like a little mini finish and keep me going. I'm doing it on a 22 count. Again, and it's just white. Um, those stitches are really, really tiny. I mean, I have some concerns, kind of like the little tree. Was you don't get a whole lot of detail in the in the branches and everything because they don't spread out very far. I'm kind of concerned about the words all these, because there are words about, little sayings about each season up there. I do have some concern about whether or not you'll even be able to read it, but I guess we'll just push through and see. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. At 22 count is one of them that they give you the measurements for, so I would think that they've thought that through or at least looked into it you would hope anyway um that's it 
I don't know what I'm going to start today. I really think I'm going to grab one of the bigger pieces. Maybe a big one that's not full coverage. I don't know. I don't know. I really feel like I need to just go ahead and get it started so I can get out of my head about it and not be kind of in such a panic over it. It's, uh, it's playing around in there. Um, I don't know how next week, this next week's going to go. My husband and I are thinking about going off for a little weekend getaway. And I don't think I want to take a bunch of new starts with me. So I may, I mean, I always take stuff with me. And so maybe I'll just take, um, I don't know, maybe I'll pick one, maybe two pieces and take and work on. I don't know. We'll see if we can work that out anyway. Uh, if we can make it happen. Haven't even tried to get a hotel or anything like that. So, um, And I think that's it. I've loved, like I said, seeing everything that people are posting on Facebook with what they're doing. Some of you people stitch fast. Fast. I've got maybe an hour that I can stitch most evenings. Um, and I just really don't get that much done. Um, there are times when I have more time that I could have been stitching, but if the kids come and want to sit and chat with me, um, they're teenagers. It, they still want to talk to me, then I'll put down what I'm doing and and uh, talk about whatever. Um, just because not all teenagers are that way. Not all teenagers like their parents, and I know that. So I'm going to take advantage of it as much as I can. Um, and I think that's it. I appreciate you watching. Thank you, everyone, for the feedback. Um, I appreciate it. I hope that the videos are getting better as time goes on. I hope that I'm getting more comfortable. I'm still way out of my comfort zone on all of this. And I've caught myself today saying, um, a whole lot. And for as many times as I've said it on this video, this is the second time I've recorded it this morning because I said it far more on the first one. So anyway, y'all have a good week. Get lots of stitching done. And thanks again for watching. I truly appreciate it.